experts in aerospace machinery. Oh, I got you on camera. Look at that. What's up, man? What's up, man? How are you? It's crazy because I actually know this guy so good. Now we're at your facility, man. Yeah, it's awesome. Super good. Oh man. People are kind of just hanging out. Everybody wanted to meet you. Oh, that's say cool, hi man. to you. Oh man. oh man, we love you around here. Last night I told him, man, I had on uh, the octopus. Oh really? Yeah. That's awesome, man. I was watching it and I was like, oh man, the, the way it moves and everything, I was like, that's gnarly. Crazy moves, right? And then the legs itself had all the all the texture to it, man. I was yeah, like, yeah, wow. Yeah. I was like, that's amazing. I love it, man. I love your channel, man. Yeah, thank you, man. Very nice to meet you, man. Yes, sir. It's a pleasure. Awesome. My brother-in-law and oh, another family member. How are you? I'm good. Oh. I'm, the, I'm the guy that does all the movement of the machines and all that stuff. So moving them around to make it all happen. Whatever he needs, he's got me to solve say, the problem. Boss, I need this. I, I get it done. Everything that you see, like where it's sitting, he put it there. There's a lot of things that happen in the shop that people don't really understand, and. That's why I tell anybody who's working in a shop, the more opportunities you have to do little things and help out with this and help out with that, it's just better because you just get to know and have a great feel for the company. Kevin also, he's, he's got like, I would say the, the bigger vision. I get I get caught up in the little details yeah. and making the parts and... Um, he's like, let's move across the street, he, yeah, put machines over there. You know, getting AS9100 registered and ISO. Yeah. It's so good for you to have somebody like that. Where's Barry at? Where's Barry at? Ask him. <laughs> hey Barry, we see all these hammers, but like, where are you at? That's right. We got big machines. We need big. Barry. Yeah, this is a this is I a know. machine for Barry here. We were using they were big pieces of aluminum, sixty sixty one, and we got the core five, uh, three quarter inch diameter yeah. to do a big opti rough on this thing, and um, we were running it in the uh, RA three G, which is an older machine, and that machine could not hit the feed rates that that really the core five wanted. Yeah. So Kevin came in, saw what was going on, and he was like, you know, what if we just take like a 60% step over, 80% step over, like something crazy, Go up, back it down a little in. bit, yeah. and just let it eat. And we took a cycle time that was like probably 25 minutes down to, I'm not kidding, it was down to like five minutes. Yeah. yeah. It just came in there, that core five just bogs through all the material, and uh I gotta remind him every once in a while we're we're out here to make chips, not glitter. Ooh, oh, he does. oh, that's it. Hey, Donnie, that was that was to you right there. He wants to make chips like Barry, not like glitter. Anybody, you know, anybody can make glitter. We gotta make chips. Oh man, yeah. oh man. Yeah. Yeah, we we complement good each other good like that too because I can come up with a really good process of how to make something and get it running, but. A lot of times, once you get it running, you don't realize it could go way faster. And when Kevin comes in, you get a second set of eyes looking at it. That's when our efficiency just goes way up because he's like, man, just change this and this and this and like keep everything else the same, but let's hog this out a little quicker. And we've, we've changed, we've turned a lot of jobs around that might not have been winning as much as they should have. And then once we collaborated together, that's when it was like, we. We blew it out of the park. Right. So we built this vacuum fixture, and this vacuum fixture runs multiple different parts. And what a vacuum fixture is, is it removes the air and sucks the part down to it, straight down to the vacuum uh, fixture plate. And the way that we put the parts on is we use these dowel pins with golf balls in them. The idea of the golf balls is you don't forget to take out and remove the pins before you start the program. Um, that is brilliant. Brilliant right there. Love it. So if this was a part that you were about to load, you would put the golf balls in there. You would have your correct uh, gasket ran on this fixture. And then you just put your part up there, bank it against the pins, turn the vacuum on, sucks it down to the fixture face and spin it into the machine. Nice. Run the parts. Super good. And you got them all the way around. Got and them all the way around. you already talked about doing all different sizes. Yep, so you can see this piece of material, the gasket would run to right about there. All of these grooves right here is where the air goes, like, pulls it right there. With the vacuum fixtures, depending on the area that you're pulling down on, uh, you're gonna experience 
approximately, let's just say 12 to 14 pounds per square inch of that surface that's being held by that vacuum. So you can achieve thousands of pounds of pressure down on the part without anything external. So Auburn, she's, she's been crushing it, um, learning setups. Um, she'll be working into learning some more programming. She keeps the machines going. You know? We got a couple of these around. Women in the workforce. Love it. Made, Super good. We made a bunch of hammers. Oh, look at that, Barry. Got them. Check out the hammer, Barry. Oh. Yep. See, it did that on the mill turn. So we just got this machine in. It's, yep. a, it's a five axis rotary on it. It's, it's got the probes, uh, the Renshaw probing system set up into it. Yeah, it's crazy fast. This is the machine that I learned to uh, program and set up one. When it came up for sale, it was like, yeah, I really wanted to get it and have it in here. That's and awesome, and we, put a, we put a ton of work. And, and, and it's very, that's meaningful too, you know? Just, yeah. Yeah, super good. And now we use this machine when we have, you know, our class on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Um, the students come out here and this is, this is kind of like our go-to machine for our internship and class and nice. we teach the academy on here but with the rotary and the shunk shunk on there nice gotta put a pattern in there to put another shunk in there it's a nice little setup right there yeah if you guys want to actually make this hammer right here there's a link right there and you can actually go see the video that'll teach you how to make this hammer boom so in here this is my brother-in-law awesome and uh he was uh he was a counselor before that for yeah. 12, 12 years, years. 12 years. Oh. And then came in here and... Uh, now you work in the greatest trade in the history of the world. That's what I'm yeah. told. Yeah. And now you, now you have to go tell other counselors that, hey, we need to get these kids I into it. I won't let them know. Yes. Boom. Oh. Yep. And, uh, and then this is my sister, Tammy. Hi. Um, Hi. So Tammy worked in um, at a school called Trellis for 14 years 14 years 14. autism for, oh really you know, school for autism. kids with autism yeah so good totally related to this that's awesome it got to the point where we didn't want to pull her away from that but this just kept growing and mm -hmm. you know the the i think the smartest thing to do was just to bring our family into it you know because that's really yeah. that, that's what we wanted when we started the business so oh look at this look at this oh, i don't yeah. want to give them any i take pride in that man um zometry was Zometry was really our start. At that time, you couldn't actually go on Zometry and rotate the 3D model around. Um, I ha had an app on my phone and I couldn't even see the prints, you know, but I would just find like the most challenging job that paid the most money. I would just go for it. You know, I think that God just watched over us. Looking back now, I'm like, I don't know how that all came together, but it did. And then again, just taking it and then uh, continuing to grow. Look at that, <laughs> Academy Group. Number 238. That's awesome. What do you do? Um, just some machining, some programming. Oh, you programming? Out. You guys did that. You did some of the, um, the building blocks though, right? Yeah, I've done them. And stuff. You did all of them? All the building blocks. Nice. So you did some master cam in there and stuff. Mm -hmm. Super cool. Did the rocket parts, did some aerospace parts. Nice. But this is just some parts that, that we've been working on lately. Awesome. So what is it? What are these? They're in the medical industry. 2022. Yep, the tool crib, more of you up there. <laughs> the Astro Mind TS as well. Nice. So you've had this company, your own company, for what, six years, seven years? Six years. Awesome. Any advice to young machinists out there that have a dream to have their own company? Go for it. Go for it. There's never a perfect time to do it, so you just gotta, you just gotta do it. That's and it. You're gonna have to sacrifice a lot. It's definitely not easy, but. As long as you're positive and you believe in yourself and you're surrounded by good people, oh man, then you can definitely make it happen. Yep. And it's hard. I think, you know, we did that first podcast and everyone was like contacting us saying, we're going to start our own shop. We're going to start. And we're like, whoa, whoa. You know what I mean? Because I think it's important to, one, make sure that you have the talent to actually be successful, that you've actually worked at other companies and actually put the work in so you truly understand what you're getting into you know two you have the ability not just machine but to actually get work if you're gonna buy a machine and have a payment you gotta have work to just to, to support it and and three 
have the grit and tenacity that daily you're going to go understand that you're going to give up a lot and that this is going to be your baby you have to have the family the wife everybody have buy-in on it because you're going to have to grind yeah and it is hard and and most shops many shops fail but other shops if you have talent if you have tenacity you have family buy-in if you can get the customers it'll literally change their entire life and give your kids a future your family a future just change your life and then you don't even want to like work for anybody else you just want to work at your own company and serve your customers like just have that hospitality i say like service but hospitality where like you just do anything and everything for them solve every single problem and, and give them a part on time crazy quality do it over and over wake up at two in the morning you hear me say that go to the shop if you have to deliver those parts and uh that'll secure a crazy future yes boom yes. and you're doing it right here i'm doing it boom we're doing it our team's doing it whole, like, it's all of us the whole family affair women in the workforce over on the machines like everything yeah. man yes. super good there's 14 of us now that's awesome here. man yeah. boom yeah. so good congratulations thank brother. you so much man boom thank you so much boom